right, so this is something that you can do with your dog just to kind of mix it up during your tug and in your fetch play. Um, so Brut Brutus is in a down right now. I'm gonna throw the ball, um, and I'm actually gonna recall him before I let him go get the ball. Um, it's just a great way to mix it up, to establish leadership, to make sure, hey, he knows that everything good comes through me. He doesn't just get to pick up and choose, you know, even when he's um, he's not going to be released, but um, just makes him think, right? If, now, if you have a sport dog, if you have a dog you're really, really trying to amp up their drive, well, this is not the probably the thing to do. This is something to kind of change the pace a little bit. Um, so for a typical house dog, this is great. You know, this is establishing leadership. This is establishing those boundaries. Just a little thing you can kind of incorporate into, you know, the tug and fetch you're already doing. Okay, so let's see how it works. So Bruce is right there. Hey, no, down. Okay, so I'm going to throw the ball. Okay, and so instead of just letting him go, I'm going to make him come towards me. Actually, I'm just going to wait till he looks at me. There you go. So that's good. It says, hey, if I want to get what I want, I need to look at him. Come. Break. All right. And so he goes and gets the ball, brings it back, and now he gets what he wants the tug. So, this is just another exercise to help your dogs think as opposed to react. Too many dogs react. Um, when they really need to slow their brain down and think more. And so this is just an exercise to do that, change up the pace, kind of create that on-off switch, and uh, yeah, go from there.